hello friends welcome back today in this video i'm gonna explain you how to calculate the cfm of guest room if you are a hoteler and you are from incinerating department this video is definitely going to helpful for you uh, first we'll find out the tonnage of the fcu that you must be knowing there's a thermal for cfm if your fcu is one ton the cfm is supposed to be 400 if your fcu is 1.5 ton the cfm is supposed to be uh, 600 if your fcu is 2 ton then your cfm is supposed to be 800 so you know, first you get it that your fcu is suppose 1.5 ton your cfm is supposed to be 600 right uh, then uh, you need the ac grill size ac grill size suppose uh, this is a ac grill and the size suppose uh, 7 inch height and the width is uh, some of 3 feet 3 feet is equal to 12 into 3 is equal to 36 inch so we have to multiply then the answer would be 252 252 divided by 144 when you have removed the uh, grill size in inches then you have to convert it to square feet then you, uh, you need to multiply by the length into width divided by 144 now I'll explain you why 144, where the number 144 come from. Then I'll explain you, then we know that 1 feet is equal to 12 inches. Then 12 multiplied by 12 is equal to 144. So this is how if we have removed the size in inches to convert it into square feet, we have to multiply the inches size of length, inches size of width, then we have to divide it with 144. Let's divide 252 with 144 will get the answer of 1.75 if everywhere the same unit is installed and the grill size is same you know this 1.75 is going to be the size of your grill in square feet then the second data will get the size of grill is 1.75 the th third data we need uh, the average velocity of air the average cfm of uh, uh, your fcu so how to calculate it? There are different different kind of anemometers. Different anemometer has a different multiplying factors. So you need to know what is the multiplying factor of your anemometer that you get from the user manual of your anemometer. So if you want to talk about the Metra B pocket anemometer or portable anemometer, it's very easy to carry for all the technicians. So Metra B anemometer looks something like this. And uh, the Metra B anemometer has no multiplying factor. Multiplying factor is zero. So, we need to insert your anemometer at, the, at different different places of the AC grill from where the air is coming to the room, right? You can measure from a side, one from the center, different different places of the AC grill. And suppose you took five readings from the AC grill, you have to add all those five readings. After adding all those, whatever the answer will come, you have to divide it with five. Then you will get the average airflow from your AC grill. We get the average airflow, then we got the size of the AC grill, then we need to multiply the grill size in square feet multiplied by average airflow from the FCU is equal to CFM. So it's very simple. CFM is equal to grill size in square feet into average airflow. Hope this video was helpful for you. Please don't forget to share and subscribe. Subscription is free. See you soon. Bye bye for now.